consider as uh, uh, some of the most um, important uh, challenges that we as engineers, I'm, I'm an electrical and computer engineering uh, at Concordia, so I thought that I would present from an engineering perspective what I consider as some of the most outstanding challenges in the area of machine learning, in the area of AI, and deep learning that Fahid has already discussed. So um, I want to introduce uh, about the future. <coughs> so I'm look uh, if I understood from the uh, from the scope of this uh, meeting, the idea is how you find uh, careers in machine learning and uh, in AI. So uh, what I'm trying to present to you is what I, at least in my own perspective, in my own view, what will be the future? How we are going to essentially go to the next phase? Based on experience, based on the knowledge that you already have, you are not going to be redone. You can't remake yourself fully. You have to essentially see, based on your competencies, based on your co competencies, based on the knowledge that you have gained throughout your career, throughout your life, how we are going to prepare ourselves so that we can join the market, we can join the workforce that is looking a lot into machine learning, AI, and concepts like that. But before I get into that, I'd like to start with this buzzword, uh, cyber physical systems. Robotic system can replace them. Because basically we have our own expertise, we have our own knowledge that cannot be replicated, cannot be duplicated by a machine or by a robot or a, by a software. However, having said that, what I, uh, I'm trying to emphasize, that you need to think of your skills in a hybrid framework in an integrated framework. Machine learning AI is not the solution to all the problems. But we have to adapt, we have to be flexible, so that we can see what are the advantages, what are the capabilities, what are the features that these new technologies are bringing to the plate, so that we integrate them in a hybrid fashion. We fuse our own, let's say what I call as model base, which is what conventionally as an engineer we are looking at mathematical models of systems. That's how you solve any mathematical problem or any engineering problem. You start with some framework for, to model the process, then you uh, control by a human operator, then the risk becomes even more severe. So it, what I want to emphasize is the issue of uh, cybersecurity in terms of how can we develop these technologies that I can make sure that they will provide the information and the results that we expect them to provide. So how do you develop these technologies so that you can assure them, you can certify them? Certification is an important topic and important problem here. How can you make sure that they are trustworthy? As, uh, as an example, Google is working on these the driverless cars. 